okay. kill me right now. Vanessa. Kill me. We're gonna go back I'd to the station. I'd rather you shoot me because I'm gonna fuck you. Stop hurting me! Stop hurting me! Stop hurting me! Wait, why are you touching me? What are you doing? What are you doing? Sit up. Imagine cruising down the highway thinking it's just another routine traffic stop. But what if the driver isn't who they appear to be? Sometimes the person behind the wheel is far more dangerous than they seem, and the officers are about to face a situation that spirals out of control. Grab some snacks because things are about to get intense as we dive into those shocking moments when cops realize they've pulled over a psycho. This is Missing Files. <laughs> without third operating brake light. On January 2nd, 2023 in Santa Rosa County, Florida, officers conducted a traffic stop on a vehicle that had no brake lights and failed to maintain a lane. The car was swerving all over the road and when officers tried to find out what the driver's issue was, she had no interest in cooperating. She learned a quick lesson on what happens when you refuse to exit your vehicle. Deputy here at the sheriff's office, I pulled you over because you only have one brake light working. I can't, I can't hear you. The, so neither one of your driver or passenger, you've just got the little strip in the middle that's working. No, I can't hear you. Both, they're both out. The strip in the middle is the only one that's working and you have to have two working brake lights. I'll, I'll show you in a few minutes. You can step out after we're done. Can you roll this down just a little bit more? To 2060, we also have a canine available. Gonna be out of Wisconsin for You can go ahead and step out for me. Yeah, you can step out. Well, now I'm going to tell you to step out of the vehicle. It's not an option anymore, okay? Okay, you can bring your phone with you. Daria, Daria, listen to me. Step out of the vehicle, and I'm going to talk to you over by my car, okay? If you don't step out, I'm going to pull you out, okay? There are better things to do. Daria, am I being detained? Yes. Step, I ask you? Step out of the vehicle. Daria. Okay, step out. I've asked, but I asked you. I'm telling you now, step out of the vehicle. Step out? Are you an officer? Yeah, I'm Deputy. Deputy Bill Hart. We can discuss that later. Deputy Bill Hart, I'm. Hey, you guys aren't giving me the space. All right. Nice to meet you all. And you are? Get out of the car. I'm going to push you out of here in about three seconds. You reach for that one more time, I'm going to yoke your ass out. Get out of the car, I'm going to move you out of the car. Am I being yes. Reach it. Wait, why are you touching me? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you guys doing? Drop it. Wait, wait, no, 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 wait. Stop. Did I do something wrong? Yes. Why? I told you to step out multiple times. You wouldn't step out. Stop. Okay. Hey, give this me your other hand. Car insurance. Okay, well. Wait, this is bad. Hold on. You got that arm? Hold on. Yep. This is not right. Wait, what are you saying? Stop kicking. You guys? No, I don't need to. Daria seemed to be calmed down enough to perform field sobriety exercises, but was she physically capable? That seemed like a stretch, and the tests were a waste of time. So I'm going to walk you through some instructions, okay? And we're going to do some field sobriety tasks, all right? Okay, the first one, go ahead and face me. Okay, you push your hair out of your eyes? Are you wearing any contacts right now? No? And you normally wear glasses? Mm -hmm. Do I normally wear glasses? Yes, ma'am. Do you well, normally? I mean, I can, I can see without them. Okay. And, the, and where were my glasses on the car at 5 p.m.? I, I don't, it's not 5 p.m. yet. Daria, let me go through the instructions for this, okay? I love my glasses. I can see without them. Daria. I, I missed my glasses. Where are my glasses? Okay, are you willing to do does these that tasks for me? Question? It does not. I'm asking you if you're willing okay. to do these tests for me. Here. 
I've got to, okay, so oh, I've got to walk through a, glasses. yes. I normally wear glasses. Okay. My glasses are, are a treasure of mine. I okay. like, you know, with that being said, I'm, I'm able to see without glasses. Okay. And you're the one that I believe took my glasses, so. Yes, they're turned in here. Okay. Can, so. Yes. Okay. So not, not Can I walk through the instructions for the first task? Are you ready? For, are we like going out camping or something? Nope, we're just, I'm going to walk you through some instructions, Okay. You see the tip of this pin? Daria? Do I see one? Can you see the tip of this pin? You, yes. Okay, I, so... I would hope so. I hope, yeah. Okay, so what I want you to do is keep your feet together, arms all the way down at your sides. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to move this pin. I want you to follow the tip of this pin with your eyes only. Don't move your head, okay? Do you understand those instructions? Repeat them, please. Sorry. Okay, so I want you to stand with your feet together and your arms down at your sides. When I move this pin, I want you to follow it with your eyes only. I don't want you to move your head, okay? Does that make sense? Do you understand those instructions? I appreciate you repeating them twice. To, yes, I understand them. You understand them? I believe okay. I do. I don't. But now, may I step back? Nope, I gotta, I gotta so, be a certain okay. distance from you, okay? Are you ready to start? She was charged with driving under the influence, resisting arrest and obstruction, almost running over kids in Middleburg Heights, Ohio on October 12, 2021. Law enforcement officials received a 911 call claiming that a man in a truck was driving so recklessly that he nearly hit a group of children. When officers located the vehicle and ran the license plate, they discovered that the registered owner had multiple active warrants for his arrest. The driver delayed stopping the truck but eventually pulled into a hotel parking lot. He used the extra time to come up with a plan with a brother who was the passenger in the truck. The brother walked away from the scene and the driver would use the brother's ID to try and hide the fact that he was a wanted man. It was creative, but would it work? Passenger, stay here. Stay here. Stay here. Stay over here. Do you know what stop means? Do you know what those lights mean? This is my Do you know what those lights mean? Yeah, I probably don't. Okay. Why don't you stop back there then? Um, well, because I was trying to park the truck. I figured you. What are you doing? Stay over here. Come on, what are you doing, bud? Passenger walked away. Sorry, I apologize. White male wearing a white shirt. I don't know where he went. <laughs> my bad. Why don't you I stop? Oh, because my wife. I live here. I'm staying currently. Passenger took off his shirt. He's right there, right in front of you guys. Claiming to have no ID, a misdemeanor charge. He claimed to be Dennis David King while he attempted to eat his hot dog. My wife's car, I was just parking. I, I, I live here, I didn't, you know, I just, whatever. I apologize. Okay, where's your ID on you? Um, I don't have an ID. Why? Um, because What's I don't your have name? ID. Uh, Kenneth David King. Kenneth David King? Do you have any four ID on you? I don't, but you can look me up. Okay. I'm, I'm just, Do you have a driver's license? My, I got reinstated like three weeks ago. He's walking around the other side of the What an idiot. He just took off. I, I no ordered him back in the car. Off. He just took off going. I have no idea why he took off. I apologize. Mm. I have no idea why he took off. I apologize. Okay, so you don't have any sort of idea no, on you? No, I'm, I'm valid. Okay. His brother didn't make it far before a backup officers tracked him down. They had a few pressing questions for him, too. Things weren't going to turn out the way the brothers had planned. I said 68. 1968. Okay, there's usually a month and a date that goes with that. The 17th. Of what? 11. Go and put your hands right there on the wall. Ryan, what's your last name, buddy? Turn around. Talk to him. What's your last name? Nicholas. Nicholas? Ron Nicholas? Yes. Okay. What do you have in your mouth? A fajita. A fajita. Okay. What's the guy's name that was in the truck you were with? What's his name? That's my friend. What's his name? Not my friend, but... Uh... An officer attempted to trick him by calling him by his real name, Thomas. He took the bait and his entire story was unraveling very quickly. A search of the truck revealed bags of what was believed to be crack cocaine or methamphetamine. Hey, Thomas. Oh, you're Thomas. Oh, you? No. You're not hey, Thomas. Put the cigarette out. No, no, I didn't say take it. I said put it out. Okay, do you not know how to listen? Obviously, you don't. Hey, 
People are stupid. I'm your hand. Messy. You're gonna keep in trouble, my man. Oh my, who's in trouble? You got about a hundred thousand warrants. Oh, you're suspended. I don't even want to know what the hell's in the truck. Oh, what's in the truck? What's under the truck? Or what's under the truck? Oh, okay. Yeah, I, do you realize? Do you realize leaving meth or crack or whatever around in this hotel is like that's not mine. Happened in a million. That is years. not mine. Well, he's got a warrant to you check whatever yeah, you want. That's yeah. not mine. It's not in my vehicle. Yeah, well, that's outside your vehicle. It's, it's not mine. Not for me. Tell it to the prosecutor. Okay, fine. You can try to check whether it's not mine. And hey, now, tell Peggy to come get her car. No, no car. No, 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 by my car. How's the car getting towed? Because you're driving under suspension. It's my wife's car. Uh, it's parked, in, it's parked on private it's property. Oh, oh, well, I, pulled, I pulled you over on public property. Okay, well, you didn't. You probably parked the car. The car's parked. You're not towing the car. Peggy, call it. Hey, get my wife. Why do you know? Come here. It's not going to make a car. difference. Don't let him tow your car. Oh, it's definitely being towed. Bye-bye, car. Being towed. Don't even put it down. You're not even breaking my arms. I want you to slow the down. Stay right there. Big mouth. The driver was charged with resisting arrest, driving without a license, obstruction, and failure to stop. Cody Reeves. On May 19, 2022, officers on patrol in Bloomington, Indiana, attempted to perform a traffic stop on a vehicle for speeding. When they activated their emergency lights, the driver sped up, triggering a high-speed pursuit that lasted for miles. When the suspect drove his vehicle down a dead-end road, he fled from the vehicle and ran into the woods. He was quickly found, so he needed to come up with a plan. He decided to pretend he was unconscious to shift the focus of the situation. Let's see if it worked. Get the car! Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Do it now! I'm dying on the broken shoulder. I got a Put your hands behind your back! I got a right focus on it. I got a right focus on it. I'm gonna tase you. Get I your fucking hands back. Stop resisting. Stop resisting. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I got a right focus on it. I got a right focus on it. I'm sorry. I had a good job. You got any weapons on you, buddy? No, baby. No pocket knives. Nothing. Nothing like that. Here. Please don't. Please, uh, please I, I do have a broken right arm. Uh, a broken right arm? Yes. Yeah. Alright, we're sitting you up, alright? Can you go to your knees? Yeah, I'm trying. Please, 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 please. No. Go to your knees. I'm sorry. I did all this. Sit up. Come on, man. Get him up. Which shoulder is it, buddy? Which shoulder? Get up on the car. The man, later identified as Cody, tried his best to play the role, but he wasn't a great actor. Regardless, the officers had to call EMS just to rule out any liability on their part. Pick up, man. Hey. Talk to me. Can you hear me? Hey! Did you put him in like a recovery position? You can. Just for information, the updated address is going to be 4800 East Guthrie Road. Say here, East Guthrie Road. What's his name? What's his name? I don't know. Huh? You got his ID, right? It's, it's right there. Thanks, Cody. Cody, can you hear Cody me? Reeves. Keep him up to where his air way is open. I smoke some spice. What else? Spice. Some strong. Hey, 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 sit still. What the f? Still. On. Sit still. Take a breath. You just ran from us. What's your name? Where's my car? What's your name, brother? Part of brand new car. Hey, look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Hey, look at me. 
What's your name, brother? Can you tell me your name? <laughs> Sit down. What's your name? Can you tell me your name? <laughs> After several minutes, Cody was transported to an intensive care unit and he was slipping farther and farther out of character. The charade accomplished nothing other than wasting everyone's time. He's gonna be your kids. Have a good night. Thank you, sir. All right, lean forward. Yeah, lean forward for me. Cody, do you know where you are? Where's the hell am I? You're at IU Health in Bloomington. You got in a car crash. 3334 Bloomington 3334 Can you sit can you lay down Are you clear on my message 27-year-old Cody Reeves was charged with operating a motor vehicle while impaired resisting arrest and driving with a suspended license lunatic behind the wheel In Daytona Beach Florida on February 11th 2023 law enforcement officers were conducting a traffic stop when one of their vehicles was violently rear-ended causing it to smash into the other cruiser at the scene. Shockingly, the female driver was unharmed in the crash, and she was too far gone to even pretend she was sober. The driver, identified as Michelle, was immediately put in cuffs and placed under arrest, and started barking out orders to the officers. She demanded that they either take her to jail or set her free. She'd get her wish. I'm done. I'm done. If you want to take me to jail, you take me to jail. Otherwise, this, uh, my hands are f***ing wrapped the f*** up, bro. Cause I, I thought she was gonna be messed up. Oh, so did How I. How hard the hit was. was Front-end collision on that car must be, be uh... Anything, no, I'm not trying to be anything, babe. I'm not trying to be anything, We said like, you were happy that, that you were not hurt. Like, you think that this is entertainment for you no, two? No, it's not. Oh, no, that's I'm my new car. I'm not happy. You. We don't want to entertain us and just remain on Michelle. 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 No, f*** up! Oh, God. Me. Well, you're running don't off. touch me! Don't touch me! You! Neither one of you! Don't uh -oh. touch me! Uh -oh. You're fine! You're fine! Stop. You're fine! You stay seated for us, okay? Okay, but don't! I don't want neither one of them two to Just touch me! Okay, you stay seated I don't want neither one of them two to touch me! That's fine. Just stay Okay, but sure don't let the, neither one of them two touch me! Bro! Are you kidding me? You're you realize gonna... you're making a scene, right? Am I making a scene? Yes, you are. If you just I'm want to sit still and keep to yourself, that'll be all right. I'm making a scene? Yes, you okay. are. She was so drunk, she admitted to crashing into the cars, but claimed she's done nothing wrong and asked to speak to her lawyer. If that wasn't enough, she cried out that the officers were hurting her when no one was touching her at all. So, oh, hope she doesn't believe me. Yeah, Major. So. Michelle. Tell me what happened. Me? Yeah, I accidentally happened. ran into the back of the cop car, but who's supposed to? They just have you in cuffs right now while you're sitting here. I'll pull, take care of everything. They you have me. Bed. They just have me. Like, uh, no. I want, need my phone and I need my lawyer and I need to call my roommate we'll, right we'll now. Get, we'll get you all that. No, I need to call down. somebody right now. No! No! no. What the f? Bro, this is so uncomfortable. Give me my phone. I want to call my lawyer. Chill, just sit down. I'm just, so, I'm just, so, I'm just, so, so, can you please? You have to sit down. I'm not going in here. I'm not going in. I'm allowed to ask for a lawyer. I'm allowed to ask for a lawyer. No. Fuck you guys. Okay. Okay. I'm allowed to ask for a lawyer. I'm not. I'm allowed to ask for a lawyer. You guys aren't allowed to put me down. I'm allowed to ask for a lawyer. You guys aren't allowed to push me down. I'm allowed to ask okay. for a lawyer. Okay. You guys are not allowed to push me down yeah. like that. Not, no, we just I'm not going to do that. Keep, Bro, they're hurting me. Okay. They're okay. hurting me. Stop they're moving. hurting me. Okay. They're okay. hurting me. Okay. They're okay. hurting me. Okay. They're hurting me. Okay. They're hurting me. Okay. Just stay seated, okay? Nobody's touching you. They're right hurting now. me. Nobody's touching Bro, you. Right now. Nobody's he was. He was. In a shocking twist, she agreed to perform field sobriety tests. As you can probably guess, that didn't work out very well for her. Do you want to participate in field sobriety exercises? Yeah. You do? Yeah. Would you be willing to take a breath test? Yes. Okay. Were you going to do the uh, field sobriety exercises? I can do a field sobriety. 
field sobriety exercise. No, I'm not going to do anything for you guys. Okay, so at that point, are you... I'm not going to do anything because you won't even let me find a lawyer or talk to my roommate who okay, is a listen, lawyer. you read your rights. i got to ask you one thing, okay? So are you going to put me in the back of the squad car and take me away? No, I'm just asking. I'm now requesting you submit to a lawful test of your breath for the purposes of determining its alcohol content. Do you wish to give the test? No, I'm not going to do that. You're not doing the... You're not doing the test? No. Okay. If you fail to submit to the test, I am Officer Forrest of the Daytona Beach Police Department. If you fail to submit to the test I requested you of you, hold on. Your privilege to operate a motor vehicle will be suspended for a period of one year for the first refusal or 18 months for if your privilege has been previously been suspended as a result of refusal to submit to a lawful test of the breath, urine, or blood. Additionally, if you refuse to submit to the test I requested of you, and if your driving privileges have been previously suspended for a prior refusal to submit to a lawful test of your breath, blood, or urine, you will be committing a misdemeanor. Refusal to submit to the test I requested to you of you is admissible into evidence in any criminal proceeding. Do you understand? Do you still wish not to take the breath test? Okay. At this time, you are refusing. It is 11.35 a.m. Okay? You are under arrest for DUI. Okay. You're already in handcuffs. You don't have to turn around. You don't have to turn around. You're already in handcuffs. Do you wish to give, do you wish to do the exercises? The, like, roadside? The roadside field sobriety, standardized field sobriety versus exercise. Versus what? You versus can do them or not yes, do You can either do them or not. And if I do them versus I don't do them. We can't tell you to or not to. We yeah, can't tell you. I can't you. offer any legal but advice But if I on don't this. do them. You just got to think yes or no. Do them or no. Okay, if you don't do them, it's a refuse, okay? In which case, you go to jail. Yeah. Okay? No, I mean, I would like to do them, but... Okay, so, then, all right. Because you, you came up with, you told one officer yes, and you told me no. Yeah. Okay. No, I would do like you... to do them. Okay. But I would, yeah, I would like to do them. Now, here's the thing. I'm not blowing. Listen. But okay. I'll walk a roadside. So, you're going to refuse that? Yeah. I missed okay. it. I'm okay. not I blowing. Missed it. Well, we haven't really gotten to that point yet. We have to go with the road. We have to do the roadside first. I, and then I will do a roadside. Okay. And 100%. Then, you, you, you stand right there. Perfect. All right, so I just need you to focus on the tip of this pin, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, don't move your head. Uh, keep your arms down by your side and just move your eyes, okay? Just follow the tip of this pin, all right? The full list of charges is unknown, but we can confirm that she was charged with driving under the influence. Robert James Bullio. In Leesburg, Florida, on June 29, 2023, officers on patrol conducted a traffic stop on a vehicle that was traveling erratically and failed to come to a complete stop at a stop sign. Additionally, the vehicle had a broken head and tail light. The driver claimed he was aware of the issue and was in the process of getting them fixed. And he also had a victim card to play to try and justify his dangerous driving. He claimed that he was just released from the hospital because he had COPD, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, and he needed to be on an oxygen tank 24 hours a day. It was a weak excuse, but it's all he had. The officers knew he was impaired, but they let him tell his story to keep him calm. That wouldn't last long. Shut off that light. Excuse me, sir. Shut off that bright light. I'm not turning my lights off, sir. The reason I got you stopped, you got one headlight and a tail light out. You got I your license registration? I already know that. You already know that? Yes, sir. I'm okay. Not, I just got out of the hospital. Okay. I'm going to be in the process in the next two days to fix this. Okay. I'm going down to uh, Daytona. Okay. Get a new headlights assembly. Okay. And the taillight is there. I'm doing it tomorrow morning. Okay. Where are you heading from now? Uh, I'm heading from the store. What store? From Steve's. Steve's? Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. You got your license registration on you? I'm going to uh, uh, Altry. Okay. Okay. You got your registration on you? So where were you heading? I'm headed to Altry. Okay. You got your registration? I work for Altry. Okay. You got your registration on truck. you? Okay. Wait a minute, sir. This is their truck. Okay. Okay. I drive it for them. Okay. Okay. So you just drive your work truck for them? You don't yes, take... Sir. It's yes, not registered sir. to you? Yes. I got to call Pop. Okay. He's don't, right down the street. Don't worry about calling him, all right? Okay. Sit, sit tight for me, all right? Yes, sir. Uh, hospital at 3. Oh, okay. Okay, and uh, I had to take him and the boys home and everything, and I stopped the stores. Okay. Okay, because I ain't been in the hospital 11 days. Wow. It's a long time. I want the f to go home. I have some questions for you. Do you have any... Med don't lean against your vehicle. Just stand up and talk to me. Yeah, I'm hearing you. Okay, turn around and talk to me. 
So, do you have any medical issues right now? I got COPD. COPD? Okay. What about anything else? Do you take medicine for anything else? I have COPD. Okay. Emphysema. There you go. That's it. Okay. And you were just coming from Steve's, heading home? Yes, sir. Gotcha. Right. How long? I, I Wait a minute now. His wife arrived at the scene in an attempt to help her husband, but she only added confusion and put herself in a situation where she may end up under arrest with her husband. He didn't need any help digging his own hole after he decided to tell an officer to shut up and then made threats. Why should you have to prove your sobriety? Yes. Because you're operating a motor vehicle. Well, you called me about insurance and stuff, so that's what I'm here for. Nobody I called you, you ma'am. Ma'am, ma over, right. over, right. over here. Over here. So here. what do you want? I ain't got online. I just got out of bed. I'm I'll sick. Take, I'll, I'll hold on if you like, but you can I don't there. know where registration is. Pop okay. said it's in the car. Okay, over there. I'm going to stand here. Nope, you're going to stand over there by that car. I did. I did. I did. That's Absolutely. my boss's wife. So what okay. Not a problem. So are you refusing to submit to field sobriety? No, let's test? go. Okay. Stand right here for me. I need you to hang out over here for me. Hang out where? I, I didn't tell you to move yet, did I? Oh, no. no. Nope. Now you're being... Uh, Man, just hang on. Ridiculous. We're still talking, aren't we? No. All, All right. I did was ask you to submit to field sobriety. Okay, I, I, First I'm you refused, and now, you, now you're agreeing to. No, 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 no. You're a rookie? Okay. First you okay. refuse and now you're agreeing to do them, correct? No, no, that's not that's not. Ma'am, ma'am. Anyway. Sir, are you hey that's sir, my an, boss's wife. Answer my answer my officer's questions. Answer his questions right now. Okay. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna submit the field sobriety? What are you gonna do? Yes or no? Yes. You will. Okay. Yes, okay. Sir. I'm talking to this man. Okay. I'm not talking to you. All right, are you, are you, you going to do this or not? Or I, I just said, I'm not talking to you. All right, I'll give you one more chance. Then. No, one more chance what? His wife claimed that he was scheduled to have a heart surgery, so she had a legitimate concern about what might happen during his interaction with the officers, since he was angry and drunk. Luckily, she didn't have the same temper. But I gave someone the insurance because... I've had this truck parked because right now I don't even try to let my husband drive. He's getting gotcha. surgery in the morning. Okay. And then he's getting heart surgery the 14th. So I got so much. And plus I'm waiting to get surgery on my shoulder. And and he helps me out running the appointments and stuff with my husband. Okay. And, uh, I understand. Because he lives and works for us. But he's, this how he is. Okay. We was at the bank. I took him to the bank. He should have the. Do you have your, your driver's license on you? Uh, what are you resting for? Uh, right now it's DUI, driving under the influence. DUI. I got out of the hospital and going home. Okay. Step out for me. Get your hands off. Step out. I said get your hands off. Step me. out of the vehicle. Or drive me out. I said get your hands off me. After being checked out by EMS and medically cleared, 70-year-old Robert James Bullio was charged with driving under the influence, simple assault, and resisting arrest. Business exec. On November 28, 2023, in Lake Forest, Illinois, an officer attempted to conduct a traffic stop on a vehicle for failing to signal before making a right turn. The driver pulled into the nearest parking lot, and the officer approached the vehicle. Before he got within 20 feet, the driver yelled at him out the window. She introduced herself as Vanessa and told the officer that she was home safely. Unfortunately for her, she wouldn't make it into her house. She was incredibly drunk and the officer was in for a night. Hi. I'm Vanessa. Are you fucking standing I am. Huh? No, I'm sorry. No, what are you guys, okay. what are you guys doing here? No, no. I live. I live right here. Don't do this to me. No, I live right here. I'm not going to drive anymore. I'm just trying to get the fuck Okay. Uh, just, you know, you got to... I'm sorry? No! No! No, no, not here. I right. saw you. I saw you guys driving in, so I want to make sure everything's okay. No, that's okay. my house. Okay. Do you have an ID with you? Yeah. Central uh, three hundred one. Can you start me a code too, please? Do you have your ID with you? Can I see it? Just so you know, everything's being audio recorded. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <gasps> so I actually, so I live down the street from here. Where do you live? Like. Right there. Where, where did you guys come from? 
No, like we've been saying right here, like we've been trying to say, so we just wanted to show you a video, but if you don't want to see it, that's okay. No, I'm just asking where are you guys coming from, because I did see you guys pull in here earlier, so I just wanted, again, we see a car with two people in it at one in the morning, we got to make sure everything's yeah. okay, you know? No, we're okay, we just wanted to see you, like, pull up and, like, Carly. look at the video. Gotcha. Okay. She told the officer that she was a businesswoman, but she couldn't remember what business she was in. And she handed the officer a stack of paperwork when she was asked for ID. But none of the papers were proper ID for her or her vehicle. When the officer requested that she perform field sobriety tests, she decided to insult the officer instead. I'm a businesswoman, so I have a lot of IDs with me. If you don't mind me, just pull out, pulling out of like, with me. Okay, what do you do? <sighs> hey, my, my no, no, hold on. I don't give a f about your woman. So, I'm, I'm a... Picked up. I don't know if that's fine with you. Yeah, that's good. You don't uh, have your ID or anything? We're trying to figure out who else... Okay, look. So, uh, you can uh, have uh, this? Uh, what? No, I mean, no, this Sorry. is not mine. This is not mine. It's not yours? No, this is not mine. Oh my God, this is my bro. No, yeah, this is not mine. Can I see your ID now though? Because now since we're... No! No, we were... We were out here just being... Oh my god. You know what's so crazy? I'm listening. The fact that I live here and I've asked him, Hey, can we just be okay? And I'm so cold. I'm so cold. So So I I, I don't... I I know you are, but I'm so cold. I'm just like, I don't know what I'm doing. All right, Vanessa, listen to me. I need to get some sort of identification. Do you have a picture of it or do you have it with you? Can okay. I please see it? You said you had nothing to drink tonight, right? Okay. Yeah. Are you willing to perform some exercises to show me that you haven't had, that you are not impaired, that you have nothing to drink tonight, that you're okay to drive? Because I clearly saw you driving. You're in a driver's seat. Your friend says he wasn't driving. What I don't want to do is have you out here in the cold, right? What we could do. You're not under arrest. You can go in my squad car. We can go to the train depot where it's nice and warm. Put you through the exercises. If you show no signs of impairment, I'll bring you back. You go home. Okay? Is that something you're willing to do? What's that? I don't have any water. I'm sorry. No. Her mental state got worse and she told the officers to shoot her. That kind of crazy talk would be a sign of things to come when they arrived at the station. But she got much crazier. If you can't need you to sit back, and this is the second time you take off your seatbelt, I'm gonna put the seatbelt seat back on. Kill I need me. you to stop taking off I'd the seatbelt or kick right anything. I'd okay? rather you kill me right now. I need you to sit right, and I'm gonna reach for the seatbelt, okay? Kill me right now. Vanessa. Kill me. We're gonna go back I'd to the station. I'd rather you shoot me because I'm gonna yeah. f you. Shoot me right now! Shoot me! Shoot me right now because you're gonna f kill me regardless! Shoot me right now! Shoot me! I did. I need you to face Ugh. her. Force me. Force me. Take me to jail. Take me to jail. Take me. Right now. Spit. Take me to jail. Take me to jail. Stop. Take me to jail. Right now. She spit. She spit. She spit. So well, that's going to be an extra charge. I know. Okay. Take it. Two, because you did take, take me it. too. Thank you. Oh, I kicked you? I oh. On camera. Take me! I just want you to take me so she, uh, bad, and you just wanted me to kick me in the squad car. Just spit oh, me in my face. I just right want now. her to take me. I'll say again. She just spit at my face right now and kicked me in the squad car. Can, can uh, you hear me? So just so you know, I just want to. Don't spit. I'm gonna piss myself. The officer explained that there were no female officers available to conduct a search, so he'd have to perform a quick pat down search before she could be booked. Vanessa eventually went off the rails and started to strip in front of the officers while she waited to be put in a cell. She asked to use the washroom first, but she couldn't do that without causing a scene either. I want right a now, female. But there isn't one. I don't give so a fuck. I, do I want a female. And I'm going to explain how I'm going to search. I'm the way I search. going. I want Listen a female. Me. The last time a female searched me, she searched my and it hurt. There isn't one. 
isn't a female And I'm gonna fucking sue the sh out of you! Oh! Oh, touch me. Touch me, bitch. So I'm gonna use the back of my hand. Touch me. To make sure you don't have anything touch on you, okay? Fine. It's the back of my hand. Touch me. Touch me! I'm going to pick this up right now. Leave your hands up there. Again, I'm gonna use the back of my hand, okay? So, I do have to check, just like anything on a female, between your breasts. I'm gonna use the back of my hand and just go under. That's it, okay? It's just the back. You do not need to take anything off. Okay, I'm gonna use the back of my hand. Okay, there's nothing. Okay. You can have a seat. Can I paint? Have a seat and I'll let you use the bathroom in a little bit. What do you want me to paint with that? Don't do that. Have a seat. I already did. Right. Leave, your, leave your shirt on, Vanessa. I'm going to let you use the bathroom. I'm back there. I'm not closing it. I'm giving you privacy. Go to the bathroom and come back out. Give me this. Go to the bathroom and come Tell back out. before you close it, bitch. I need you to go use the bathroom. You say you want to use the bathroom, right? I'd rather okay. piss myself right. Use the bathroom. I'm only doing oh, this to give you privacy. Vanessa, please use the bathroom. Thank you, sir. She was taken to the hospital for observation. And when she was cleared, she was officially charged with driving under the influence. Ruben. On February 13, 2022, officers in Cottondale, Florida were dispatched to a rural area where a Ford Crown Victoria was parked in the middle of the road. The caller stated that it had been parked there since the previous day, and they considered it abandoned because no one was inside. When the officers arrived, they discovered that it wasn't abandoned at all, and there was a man asleep behind the wheel. The man, identified as Reuben, claimed that he was parked there because his daughter was missing and he'd been out in the woods all night searching for her. Believe it or not, his story worked, but not for long. Move it back around, right back behind the thing in case it takes off, and engage our stage one lights for the rear. Covered up, covered up. What's up? What the hell am I? Where am I? You're in Cottondale in the middle of the road. For real? Yep. In the middle of the road. Yeah. I ain't running with no, sir. No, 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 it ain't that. Huh? No, it ain't that. Yeah, you in Cottondale in the middle of the road, man. Hey. <laughs> Don't even know how you got here. I think I hear it ran Wait, out your head's of in the arm. Huh? Your head's in the arm. Hey. There you go. I think the car had ran out of gear. And I had walked around here to get it. That sucker didn't come. I know this it was last up. night. This way, uh, we was looking for my daughter and him last night. And, uh, <laughs> my mama and my tea, we were looking for my daughter and them last night. And they was all in these woods right here. And I said, ooh, they left. They had stole the car, but I didn't want to call the police on them. It was out of gas. They'll tell you, on God. I think I got in the car and went to sleep, and they left me. They, they was right there. They kept running all up and down this road last night. We, we rode all up and down this road. They was in the woods all last night. And the car ran out of gas. And I'm trying to get them. I don't know how the f it's crazy. On, on God. They'll, they'll tell you, I promise to God. I you promise to God. Ruben's performance worked. He provided his driver's license, told the officers his story, and they told him to get in his car and drive home. Luckily for him, the officer didn't hear dispatch when they radioed that Ruben's license was suspended. In fact, he had nine convictions for driving with a suspended license. 
His brother arrived at the scene to help him start his car, and Ruben drove to his brother's house. Who was on it? Ruben, you got any gas? I don't know. All I know, I was sitting right here with the car running. Here. I could try it. Here. All I know. All I could do, I could try it. We were sitting right here in the middle of the road. Ruben, crank that car up and get out of here. Yes, sir. Get out in the middle of the road. Go home. Unless you want me to search this car. Ain't nothing in the car, sir. Now you got blunt wraps and everything else. Huh? You got blunt spray, I didn't, blunt I didn't, wraps. I didn't, I didn't have a car, I, sir. I didn't, I didn't say that. Yeah. I said, unless you want me to search this car, crank it up and get it out the road, get on to the house. Oh, it died. It died. <clears throat> I got some jumper cables if we need it. And we can get, get that car out this road. Yeah, that's what we finna do. Listen with. to me. And I don't got to see you again today yeah. on no bull crap. Later that day, after the officer was made aware of Ruben's lack of driving privileges, he drove to his brother's house to take care of some unfinished business. He wasn't happy to see them, and it didn't seem like he was going to jail without a fight. No, I don't, bro. Don't start that shit, bro. No, man. I'm coming with that shit, bro. Don't come with that. Bro, y'all stupid as bro. Yeah, she's coming. You know what, dog? I'm finna sit down. But bro, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna look you in your face, nigga. I want you to feel it. Nah, look me in the eyes, nigga. Look me in the eyes, cause you know what I'm talking about, bro. Bro, you know what Sierra doing, bro. bro but you don't care about that. Oh, you smiling? You if it was help. your daughter, would you be smiling? You need some help, bro. You need some help, bro. Man, man, to me, bro. So you say, you saying we ain't get him out of the woods, then? No, we ain't get him out of the woods. Yeah, you a damn lie, Mr. Gray already told y'all what? That's crazy with you, boy. But you gonna lie for your daughter to do some? For my daughter to do some? Like that though, bro. That's crazy, bro. And you know they got my phone, bro. That's crazy, boy. Y'all retarded. Y'all retarded, boy. I ain't going nowhere today. I'm gonna get my daughter. I don't know what the fuck you talking about, nigga. I'm gonna get a whole lot of toys and they compliments of you lying. I want you to know it. It's because of you, nigga. It's because of you. I ain't going nowhere. And then what? Well, ain't nobody putting their hands on me. Nobody. I tell all the niggas that run in the rain and all. Today, nigga. I infiltrate the whole shit. That means you gonna get. No, nigga, you better use your brain, nigga, because I'm sure gonna tell, and they're gonna be on that internet and investigate. I ain't playing. Ruben was charged for a tenth time for driving with a suspended license. 